everybody, I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Manager for Enterprise DNA and wanted to provide you just a brief introduction to the video you're about to see today. Uh, the video is an excerpt from a two-part course we released recently for Enterprise DNA members entitled Advanced Visualization Techniques. And it's taught by Enterprise DNA expert Mudasir Ali. And for those of you who may not be familiar with Mudasir's work, um, he's a three-time winner of the Enterprise DNA Data Challenge competition. I've got examples of some of his work up here behind me. And I'll also put live versions of these reports in the comments section so you can explore them on your own and take a look at some of the, uh, the amazing work that he's done. Um, so what we wanted to do just as a thanks for subscribing to the channel and for watching is provide you some excerpts from these courses that we think stand alone is really interesting and valuable content. Um, and so we hope you'll enjoy them. And we've also provided a link in the comment section to the full course materials if you wanna take a look at that as well. So again, we hope you enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Hello everyone. This is Madasir Ali. And in this short video, we will talk about how we can look for report inspirations for Power BI. What I usually do is before creating my reports, I go on to different websites, to different platforms, and look for different types of dashboards. And I also search a lot of reports on YouTube also. And if I find anything inspiring, uh, any good visual or any good themes, uh, I use a snipping tool and I take a screenshot of that particular theme or particular visual and save it in my folder for my for my future reference. So, as you can see here that this is the design I created uh, for the challenge number six. Uh, that these challenges are held by Enterprise DNA every month. So you can definitely go and check out and should participate to, to up your game in Power BI report developments. This design might look like that it was created in PowerPoint, but it actually was not created in PowerPoint, but in some other platform. So I use this Canva website and it's a, a very great website to, to create different designs for your reports. So if you want to search uh, different types of report you can use this search search bar in uh, in canva website for example uh, i search for financial report and i went through different reports and when i found the one that really that really looked good to me so i clicked on it so here you can have different templates. You can see, you, you can select the different elements on this template. You can actually delete it. You can change the colors of, of that template if you want. You can change the background image. Uh, I'll talk about more how you can use Canva in my next video. This is just for the demonstration purposes i'm using this canva platform so you 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 have some idea how you can design your power bi reports apart from powerpoint and the best part of of this uh, platform is that you can actually combine different elements from different reports so for example, if I like a particular element from this report, I can click on this and it will be dragged down to this canvas. And instead of having this type of style, I can delete this and I can copy and paste this one over here. Same with these text also. You can decrease or increase the size of text and different types of uh, things you can do on Canva. 
apart from this there is another one called Crello so I basically use Crello for different types of themes for my Power BI reports for example uh, it has many 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 cool colors and it's it's the same platform as Canva so I have used Canva I have never used uh, Crello so but I do know that they are basically the same with different types of templates on, on both platforms. The next thing I do is I go to internet. In the Google search bar, I look for different dashboard designs. So for example, if I find this one very, very attractive and good looking, so what I'll do, I'll take a screenshot of this one and save it in my folder. And then I'll try to create the same type of themes, the same type of navigation bar as uh, as you can see in this report from a Power BI. At first, it will really seem like a very difficult task, but it's actually not when you when you actually try to work on it. And at the end of the day, uh, believe me, you will be able to create much, much more, much, much better looking report than this one. So that was it for this one, this video. And in the next one, we'll see how we can use Canva platform to design different types of Power BI report themes. See you in the next one. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.